Hello everyone, A. John here with another come to yours to replay. So on the left side as the OKW, we have Arnold Laws. He also submitted in this replay, I should mention. So on the left side as the British player, we have Slowly. As Oh, let's see. He could go for Commandos. That's possible against the OKW with the uh, Air Supremacy Operation. We also got Support Weapons Regiment. Uh, always reliable with the Tank Hunter Infantry, so if you don't want to get Piets. And we also have Tactical Support Regiment. Very common, though it has been slightly nerfed. I haven't, don't really see it all too often. Oh, here we have the Special Operations Doctrine, quite common. Elite Armor, a little less seen, but still ever so potent. And Fortifications. We got this uh, Infrasection in heavy cover, so we'll be able to easily defend that point. And I think my just in one setting, so I think my game volume is a little bit too high. There you go. Most likely the infrastructure should be able to win out this battle, though currently the infrastructure section is taking a little bit more damage. over here has been fully captured he's probably going to oh doesn't look like he's, he's positioned right there so he can quickly uh, hop in the building so he can get a very hard position he is displaced from we got a uh, volks grenadier now coming up the flank yo this is omnidirectional cover the light crater oh that's actually a large crater not light crater but light cover crater whoa 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 we got uh, bolster infantry squads very early. I experimented around this before, and I proved it quite inadequate, really. But this can be very potent. This is very early on. He will have superior infantry for an extremely long time. Infantry section should be able to win out. Granted, one of the members are not in any form of cover. We've got the old Grenadier moving to capture this uh, fuel point, but this heavy cover thinks these steel girders will make it very hard for these extra sections to actually really engage. And it looks like he's going to actually jump into the circle to prevent this from decapturing. So the Volks Grenadier will be forced back. Granted, this squad is very low health, so maybe it'll get some additional bit of bleed before he falls back. There you go, down to one member. We got another infantry squad, so we will have four infantry sections already out. That's a bit uncommon. Though, granted, this map is a little bit wide open for a mortar pit. There's no good line of sight blockers to protect it. And we should be seeing the, yeah, we do see the tech upgrade now. He really needs the medics. So you can afford two uh, medical packs, and by the time the upgrade gets finished, you can afford a third. You can always go for pyrotechnics also. They cost 50 munitions, 50 munitions if I remember correctly. The platoon command post is finished and ready for use. Now capture point. Folks here will it. capture up all the way to this right point just outside of the base. The enemy caught our supply line. I wouldn't be surprised if I see AEC research to for a light vehicle. You would need to see a six pounder soon. Knowing his opponent, he may go for a mechanized truck. He sees five man squad. He sees four squads. Actually, the fifth squad has not made itself revealed just yet. But he sees heavy infantry based play, so uh, looks will be a very potent option. Looks like the squad will get flanked and may get wide if he currently is not reacting. Folks Grandier without the SDG upgrades are not known for wiping and treating squads. He probably will need to treat this back sooner rather than later because five additional men makes a lot of additional firepower. Ooh, we got this Volks Grandier squad on retreat. 
There is negative ground a little bit. Yes, because you see the negative ground if any time he picked off me then, but however, he did not. A fifth infantry squad. I'm sort of surprised he can go for special weapons operation, Royal Regiment, so he can get the... Get some at least some light AT through the uh, D boys rifle. What is it called? Boys AT. I'm sure I was thinking D boys. Airsoft weapons actually. <laughs> you got these. Uh, uh, Swim pioneers may get lose a model upon retreat, but most likely will not. We'll hop in the south. A very fortified position there. The medical truck has received quite a bit of fire. We do got the cutoff. Being cut off. Heavy machine gun team ready for battle. We've got the medical trucks, medical crates going down. We don't have any uh, uh, field medics upgraded being initiated. He could. He has the manpower and fuel forward, and he can just rally forward and not worry about the forward retreat point just yet. Viewpoint will be disengaged for quite a bit of time. Do we have AC research? We do in fact have AEC research. He just needs a little bit more fuel to get it. Throws the incendiary into the building, but we'll do minor amount of damage and plus there's medics on this on this squad, so healing it up will be no problem. We got the MG34 being set up right here. Very nice arc. Folks Grandier will get overwhelmed. We might as well just stick out in light cover. Hopefully he can get some damage. The squad's running forward. He will do a sniff amount of damage before he can retreat before he does retreat back. Heavy machine gun trooper ready for action. We got dual MG34, the other MG34 will be heading out, perhaps to this uh, heavy cover of this destroyed Sherman Bulldozer. We got an AEC coming on out, we may want to see a Panda Shrek or a Vaken Warfare to help ward away attacks. He is approaching fuel for the Shira Panzer headquarters, he's just 20 feet away. The sure have Panzer Headquarters, I would imagine, be a good spot. Perhaps protecting the cutoff, or you can place it a bit farther forward to protect the VP. Right here, perhaps, maybe a good spot. I'm not so sure. I don't really... I really don't like this map. This map's a bit too wide open. So if you do not have a forward retreat point, it tends to be very one-sided. If once somebody does get one. This may not seem like a big distance, but really is a big difference in when it comes to forward retreat points. AC is now out. We do see the Commando Weapons Regiment. He may want to I'd get a Royal Engineer or two to repair the AC. MG-34 will get forced back. Not big surprise, there's nothing much there to protect it. You are going to see a Panzer Fowls, but pretty much for nothing, it will just slow down the mobility. There's no AT weapons to finish it off. We got a Royal Engineer now coming on out for the repairs. The Kenner Warfare has just been completed. We could see a squad of commandos being dropped in, though they are quite expensive 500 manpower. And he already has a significant amount invested into five infantry sections. You really could use a six pounder. Well, a six pounder could be a good option. 
just for a bit more heavier AT option. Or Vicar. So Vickers may actually be a very good option to help secure the points, such as right here. He is, already has AEC, he can board away uh, light vehicles and help defend against medium, but he will need a 6-pounder to fight against mediums. And we're for setting up in open ground. No frag grenades. V34 repositioning to hit this squad. He's just trying to force his way into this. To hit this MG. Start hitting it from multiple angles. You eventually will get it. Looks like uh, these units are in a Cinderi effect. We'll pull away before losing only losing one model in total, so they will get killed up quite nicely. MD34 is trying to pack up. We'll pack up and try to focus fire. This squad is suppressed, so most of them won't be able to get that one squad. We got the Shira Panzer headquarters set up right here in a very defensive position, covering this flank. AC rolling forward, we may see a Panzerfaust. The uh, Vikan Warfare is still back at base, so Panzerfaust will ultimately do nothing other than just slow down the AEC. Maybe you're trying to body block him from coming out from that area so you, the intersection can start hitting them. I'm not exactly sure. You can't crush with the vehicle. You have another AEC coming out? Interesting choice. His opponent is going for a very aggressive light uh, vehicle place play. He honestly not sure how this is going to play out. It can be quite effective. It can fight against medium tanks reasonably well. A medium tank is generally so better, so you probably will need to get a 6 pounder. Oh, looks like he cancelled it. Looks like he's going to go for a tech up. We do see the Battle Creep HQ now getting the forward retreat point and medics. He's been needing medics for a very long time now. He really should have upgraded the medics first and then the forward retreat point so he can get out the healing. You have the weapons rack, so we are starting to see Brens coming out. We could see some Piets on the Engineer squad for additional AT. We are going to see a six pounder. Our capture point. They're trying to take it. MG34 in very nice defense position. We'll cover a very good portion of that open field. You also got some shoe mines coming up. You may be able to see that maybe a bit too close to the capture point. And we'll mow down that uh, uh, Volksgrenadier squad. He does have a sheer pants at quarters, so he could opt in to get some Obasadas instead. And if Warfare will find a shot onto the AC. Times two. He needs to start retreating back or smoke. It looks like he's going to lose the AC a bit foolishly. The enemy hit our armor rather badly. We already got these uh, Royal Engineers doing great amount of damage for the Volks Grenadier. We also got these uh, Storm Pioneers make die out to the couple rifles left. We got suppression from the MG34. Get a six pounder. Royal engineers may also be forgotten. The squad could easily be wiped on the retreat. There's two STG 44s. And he will, in fact, wipe the Royal engineers. Must have been some sort of mine there. I'm not sure there's a bit of explosion spot. 
Oh, Sadat's now coming on out. We do have some elite infantry. He is approaching some... You'll... You'll for the uh, Stump uh, Tiger, and he also is approaching CP, or he just needs another one and a half. The one and a half will can come quite early. Most likely, we'll get a fuel before the manpower. Also, MG34 inside this building, setting up, maybe hitting. Nope, it's going to be hitting this squad. Yeah. We do get some suppression coming on down. We do I've got some friends over here. Looks like as a uh, only one Bren in the squad. Looks like he's going often one Bren for each squad at the moment. And the MG34 will get forced away, though it may get wiped. There's a squad on the retreat path. We've got these uh, Obisots and maybe I'm to gear, go in the garrison. Could see a bundle. Yes, we do see a preemptive bundle. Goes a bundle into the building. We'll mostly collapse it. We'll not collapse it. And we'll pull back before losing any men. We've got the Vicentimorpher still lurking around. It's at Vet 1. It has its cloaking. Well, it already always has its cloaking. The Vet 1 actually gives its... Uh, Move faster in camouflage. We got a Vickers being built. A Vickers probably is a very good option to help. Give him a bit more field control and more defensive control so he doesn't have to lose, like, say, this building. Though this building is quite low in health, so most likely we won't see that there. We've got a uh, Vet 3 infantry section does gain those two slot items now. This is dual brand equip. We've got a bundle. We do got the suppression. The bundle, the suppression came in a right good moment, so we could not dodge the bundle other than by retreating. Ooh, this Volk squad may in fact go down. Those Royal Engineers can be quite deadly. Does not. We are do have enough CP and fuel for the Sturm Tiger. We just need a little bit more manpower. Another 100 manpower, so about 30 seconds away from it being deployed. Over here, we do got only 100 fuel, so... Uh, I would say with his heavy anti-infantry force with all this intersection, I would like to see a Firefly. Right, honestly, if you go, if you since he went for this uh, doctrine, you could easily and the five-man squad members. You don't really need Brents to increase damage. They're already quite potent, so you could always, in an alternative, you could always save munitions for the. Uh, Air Supremacy operation to help remove the HQs. Looks like the Oberstassen will get forced away. There's too many rifles in the area. <clears throat> These brand equipped infantry squads. They don't really need Bren to actually really win out. Well, the heavy cover is really providing an ample amount of defense for all that fire. Ooh, so much Bren fire, but he will manage to escape. I would like to see that MG34 setting up a raid around here. He won't be able to make the heavy cover. Attack move order. There are two MG34, so we do have double up on the suppression in the area. We'll pin down, we'll suppress these squads now, they're starting to be pinned. The squad will need to be forced back after this engagement. We got reinforcements not being pulled out. Though granted they're not fully reinforced, he was a bit anxious trying to get this on the front line. Panther coming out, so we will see the Panther instead of the Sturm Tiger. Probably would like something a bit heavier for AT than Sturm Tiger. 
for now. He could always also equip the... Nope, it looks like he's going to go for the Pinto Mount. The commander does give him a bit more sight range. Would really help him try and spot the AT guns before he goes in. Goes incendiary on top of the six pounder. We'll displace it. Won't do much else. He's definitely eyeing trying to fire one shot into the building, hoping to collapse. Apparently not. He knows it's a six pounder in the area, though he does not have to worry about any snares unless his opponent builds some mines. But he sees all these brands, most likely he will not expect uh, mines. MG34 is about ready to be complete. Sasson should be able to win out versus that low health squad. We do have them now up to Vet 2. Now they gain all their increased accuracy. We do got the Cromwell. Ooh, getting a very nice hit there. The Panther, though, is more than enough to help ward it away and finish it off. He just needs something to engage the 6 pounder. We got some commandos being called in. There's a couple hits hit the uh, glider. Drops it in. Sort of intrusive, of intrusive on his pathing. And I'm, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Whew. To me, that just seems a bit intrusive on his pathing for his vehicles because it does block quite a bit. MG34 doesn't have these guys currently in arc. He may want to reposition. We'll throw in scenery, but there's just too much uh, intersections in the area. Looks like he's going to eye for the fuel and for the CP. Probably a very good position for that. We got the Panther ready to hit the Cromwell. We can't wait for already getting a free shot in. No, it looks like the Panther's going to go ahead and engage the infantry section using its Pintle Mount. Thanks to the fact that prioritized fire no longer affects Pintle Mounts and all their hull MGs. It will really help out in dealing with these squads. Before, we wouldn't be able to do much to that. We got some PS on these engineers, so we do have a bit of a mobile AT available. Probably won't do all too much, but every little bit helps. We'll throw a bundle grenade into the house. We'll not manage to wipe out the squad, but he will manage to grab the building. The MG34 should make short work the guys. Maybe we'll get one or two under retreat. Rifle dead anyways. Ooh. There's some sort of explosion up here. May have been a mine. Ooh, wait. Was there a mine on retreat? Yeah, that was actually a mine on retreat. He got that, uh, why that squad by a mine? Commandos in ambush, ready to hit the munitions. I'm not exactly sure why they're there. This point probably will not push up there anytime soon. Nothing is so far reveals that the commander is the elite armor. So we, you may get a bit surprised by the first Doom Tiger shot if it, when it comes out. We've got a mortar pit being set up. The mortar pit will give him quite a bit of indirect fire. It's very close to his initial CPs who have very good accuracy. We are going to see the booby trap. Very nice. You don't see that very often, but can be very potent. 
more sort of lay in, perhaps on this house. We'll actually, the six pounder will in fact hit the panther. Green Tiger has enough fuel, just needs a bit more manpower. Was just trying to soften up the Shirapan's headquarters and enable that flank. We'll be forced into the incinerator a bit with the six pounder, but need something a bit more decisive than sending in units one by one. I don't think the commandos have been revealed yet. They have done no damage. We got two Vikander Warfare, so he's going to eye taking out the Cromwell pretty quickly. Manpower is very low after building up Mora Pit. He could easily vest to a Cromwell or a Firefly. Now he's trying to force fire the ground, getting the Sheer Pants headquarters. We got the Stoom Tiger ready to go. His range, I would say, is right around here at the moment. And crew now ready for action. He's definitely going to eye hitting the uh, six pounder, probably. We got another six pounder, so we do have two six pounders lining up a shot. There goes a six pounder. Decrew it. We'll immediately re grab it and start force firing the ground once again. Do we have hazard removal? We do, in fact, has, have hazard removal, and he does have VEC 2, so he will have increased repair speeds. And this Chromo took two Vikander Warfare shots, so only you see one more, and boom, it's down. We'll repair up the six pounder actually, and try to use the Panther and to engage the six pounder. He hits both bounced. Shira Panzer headquarters still repairing, oh, being repaired. I'm wasting shots against the Kenworfer. And running straight into the Shira Panzer headquarters. This is currently reloading at the moment. Shira Pan's headquarters cannot handle much more. The mortar pits barrage is off cooldown. Actually, no. On very close. Do got the bundle forcing with the six pounder and the assume the stone pioneers don't get hit, they should be able to repair up that uh Shira Pan's headquarters. We got the reload for the Stoom Tiger. We may be seeing a shot straight into the three inch mortar pit. Lining up a shot, coming out of vision range. We'll fire, hit it when it's at Oh, without the uh, brace. Ooh, that three. Looks like he managed to wipe out the Stoom Pioneers, actually. And throws the uh, rangible smoke on it. I think that may have been a misclick. I think he was eyeing for a bundle, perhaps. Not exactly sure. Maybe because it's damage over time. I don't think the brace affects. Damage of time as well. Actually, it does. I'm not so really sure. We'll throw a bundle onto it, and that will be dead. Your pants headquarters still alive. However, he does not have. Ooh, rare armor is being showed. Six pounder will get a nice hit in. Oh, but it's, he stopped. He needs to get moving. And there he goes. Bit of a waste of the panther, really. He could have ran away, but he did not. We got the uh, Stoom Tiger reloading down his last 10 seconds. Obsidots and Okerni have bet three. They gained the increase heal out combat and increased survivability. Next rank, I believe, they get more survivability and accuracy, well, suppression, and sprint out of combat for bet five. Looks like one of the folk squads did get wiped. 
Mondo's down to 3 health and very little health left. So, double charge could be a possibility. That was a bundle. That's pretty close. Does wipe out one of the members. And of course, when receiving fire, he could lose his squad. This old assassin is vetted up. He's going to be hitting him over the negative ground and instantly killed even before he can over the negative ground. Soon Tiger eyeing for the Vickers inside the house. Probably will get it. Yes, wipe entirely, including the house. Will receive a six pounder shot. But that can be healed up. Doom Tiger now up to seven kills. We have a huge amount of fuel for the British player. I would say a Firefly would be a great option. A Chroma wouldn't be half bad trying to chase on the uh, Stream Tiger, but there are two of the Cannon Warfers that he knows about. I think he's trying to destroy the Rex. Yeah, he's trying to destroy the Rex to prevent the salvage. But he's largely missing. Looks like he's going to reposition. He could have suppressed that engineer squad, no problem. You got a comet now coming on out. Do you have the Stream Tiger rolling up for a very deadly shot? He's probably just going to retreat. Uh, answer the fire. Very bold Royal Engineers, and we'll get killed. You have very little reaction time when fighting a Zoom Tiger at close range. There's a comet tank ready to go. Yag Pons are now coming out. Out. He wants some AT, a heavier AT. He already has quite a bit of AT through the two for Kennel Warfers, but... You do got the Vet 4 Obus Dotson, so this is a very potent squad. What he needs is probably another... Or I would say another Obus Dotson for... Or anti infantry. Ooh, of course, when something dies, it creates an implosion. We've got the comet now rolling on out. The Ken Warfare is an arc. We'll roll a bounce. Those that are frag onto the Ken Warfare, but he already moved out. We got two six pounders, so this uh, Yag Panzer got received two penetrating hits. We do got a uh, ooh loses entirely. Stream Tiger lining up a shot, trying to hit the the comment. There is a line of sight blocker, but these Vikan workers are being moving very potent in defense, almost dead in fact. Stream Tiger may be eyeing trying to kill it, finish it off, but most likely won't be able to. What was that explosion? Oh, there must have been a uh, commando demo charger here, and the minesweeper picked it up. Found it, anyways.
Zoom Tiger is now fully loaded. One uh, tap or one sneeze on this building, it will go down. We'll wipe out that squad, slowly wipe away all these infantry section. Another comet's coming out, which is probably a very good idea trying to deal with this uh, Sturm Tiger. What he needs, but well, it does have three Vikan Warfers. There's a third one coming out. Three Vikan Warfers is very potent. Looks like this infantry section has found a landmine. Can Warfare gets a nice penetrating hit, fires another shot but misses. F3 because first strike out camouflage increases armor penetration and damage of the rocket. Hmm, I'm not sure what it's what he should get. He will be facing another tank. A Panzer IV may be a good Maybe a good option. He can always feed it heat rounds in order to fight comets. He's going for another Yag Panzer. Another excellent AT option. Yeah, I'm just a bit tired at the moment. Oh, Stum Tiger fired a shot. Looks like he will get all except for one member. You also got the comets now moving forward. Stum Tiger shot has been used, so we can't really use them against the comets. Yeah, this uh, demo track, which can be uh, help ward away the uh, infantry section if they try to head on, run headlong into it. It looks like the double cap has been proven very potent for the allied player, capturing up and getting a substantial lead in VP. We got the two Stoom uh comets rolling around trying to find a proper engagement angle. We we'll also have this mortar pit now available. The six pounder may in fact get wiped out, but it looks like the comet's trying to run over the infantry. We'll force them back, however. And of course, if you retreat before or after the uh, displacement by the vehicle moving around, can not cause them to run around in circles and then readjust themselves to retreat. That uh, very powerful penetrating hit. Two very powerful penetrating hits. We've got the Stoom Tiger lining up a shot. Very devastating. Nails one. The other one's very close to death. The engine is over burnt out. I believe that's damn engine damage. Same thing will happen if you uh, use the ram. Comet has been actually abandoned. Sheer Pan's headquarters will destroy, be destroyed. Almost gets the uh, Comet. Engines still have that damage crit. And we'll finish that off. He could grab him the other Comet. Just need, oh no, looks like he's going he's to finish off himself. A lot of wreckages here for the Access Player 2 Salvage. With both of those Comet tanks now down, there's a huge advantage for the Axis player. Comets, the, uh, the, uh, Stoom Tiger's now at Vet 2, which Vet 1 believes it's, uh, they now use a grenade launcher, the ever so pointed 15 range gr rifle grenade. It's a horrible ability. It's probably the w most useless ability of all the, uh, Veteran C1 abilities. Because we're going to need to retreat that back to me. Brands and getting hit by the gunner. 
if you use attack move, then your first shoot this initial target and gunner's gonna be all the way forward. Getting a very good damage by the booby trap. And Tiger could use its MGs. Currently lining up a shot. And wipe off that squad. Infection 2, I probably should mention it increases armor and durability, makes it, making it even harder to kill. You got a mechanized truck. You may be eyeing. No, wait, you can't get a King Tiger and the. And the uh, Stroom Tiger now. Or I believe. Was that changed? I'm pretty sure that was changed. The enemy got one of a booby track has been triggered and wiped out that squad. Ooh, that's a very nasty spot. Seeing if they were go jumping in and out the building, they all stacked up and instantly getting wiped out. This is, and looks like the British player has surrendered. This is Ajon saying thank you for watching and signing off.